world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are making hot dogs. Also, we're checking this thing out. This is a pickled steel. Now, this is the first box I got with pickled steel on the front. That is a beautiful logo and that's fantastic. It's that thing. So, link will be in the description. Go check them out. Okay. Look at this. This is beautiful. Nice box. Nice picture. Because previously the ones I got were in boxes like these. Now they are nicely branded. Okay. And in here we get a bit more than normally. Apart from your cleaning cloth, you also get a spare pocket clip, extra hardware and a little tool with a T6 and a T8 on it. Fantastic. Okay. Everybody loves getting a little bit extra. Okay, now the knife I have here today is quite a special one. Um, this one was out of stock for a very long time. This is the Ghost. Okay, we have a double-sided pocket clip or a double-sided, uh, what do you call it? A ambidextrous pocket clip, so left or right-handed. Let me just see, is this one also black? Yes, it is. And it's exactly the same. That is fantastic. So you can actually put this one on there and then you have two pocket clips. <laughs> no, don't do that okay but i'll show you in a different video about another pickled steel i'm gonna do things anyway g10 beautiful and then beautiful blacked out with only the little orange pivot color for a pop of color wonderful g10 on this thing and then the pocket clip it is recessed clip but button screws but you have a lot of space to work with beautiful flow through construction although we do have a backspacer over here also g10 a nice big lanyard hole so that's nice and then it comes in i said d2 already no? okay so it comes in d2 and there we see ghost very good looking knife now it only has a flipper tab Okay, the flipper tab does not have jumping on it, but that's not needed because it hooks your finger very nicely. Now listen to the action on this thing. This is super snappy. And then... Tick! The other way it sucks it back in and the way it flicks out. Now this thing has got a, fan ah, it's got a fantastic detent on it. It's pretty much impossible to fail. Let me just try again. Nope, you can't. Okay, well, I suppose you can if you try your hardest. It's got the new logo, the SP for, oh, the PS, sorry, for pickled steel. We have a switch at the top. And then look at the shape of this knife. Sometimes simplicity is just the best way to go. Okay, we have a very neutral handle, although we do have this one finger groove at the top. And then however big your hand's going to be, it's going to fit quite nicely. Okay, I can feel the pocket clip, but it's not a hot spot or anything because it fits wonderfully in here. Okay, so a nice pocket clip, but the blade shape on this thing is just fantastic. I love... Um, I use most of my knives to cut meat, cut food, things like that. If you want to do some carving, whatnot, then you just need a pretty straight edge over here. Now you have a, not a straight, but a very close to a straight over here and then a nice belly. And it also has this beautiful drop point shape. So this thing is a do it all knife. Now look at the, what do you call it? The center of the point. If you hold it like that, your Okay, I can't twist my arm like that. You're pretty much center with the tip. So this knife is wonderful for pretty much everything. And the action on this thing is fantastic. Okay, I love this last bit. But it sucks it in like that. Okay, so this knife they did fantastic. For a flipper tap, the detent and everything on this knife is fantastic. Crisp, beautiful. Okay, and I really enjoy the blade shape or the shape of this knife overall, not just the blade shape. We have this slight curve going on over here. We have jumping. Yeah, functional jumping, not super aggressive. You can slide over it, but jumping, and then this thing locks beautifully into your hand. We have a slight sharpening choil over there. It's going to give you a bit of life. So you can sharpen this knife quite a few times before it should be a problem. Okay, because it's black, you can't really see, and my light sucks. Okay, let me hold it over the white piece. Do you see over there? Okay, so we have a, thing, ach, a sharpening coil over there, and it will give you a bit of sharpening. Quite thin behind the edge. 
this is a wonderful knife. For something with only one deployment option, I think this is a star. And it looks wonderful, all murdered out in black with whatever. Okay, let's do a quick size comparison. I'm not going to give you measurements because I'm going to put in the link. You can go check for yourself. This is a PM2. Ach, not a PM2. Manix by Spyderco. And this Spyderco has got it beat by half a centimeter on both sides. Can you see that? Okay, so it's not a lot. I love this knife. And then I fail it. Look, it's hanging its head in shame. Okay. Um, the, not crossbar lock, the ball bearing lock system on the Manix 2 is just fantastic. Okay. This knife. I really enjoy this thing. Um, I cut wars with it today. I'll add the footage onto this, behind this, after this, and then access to the liner lock. It's also fantastic. We have scoop. Well, we have a big scoop on this side and then it's just so natural. And then your thumb is right there to catch it. So it won't catch you. Really, really a cool knife. Fun, awesome, great ergonomics. I really like this knife. Okay. So there we go. The pickled steel ghost. Um, yes, I'm going to put things on now. Watch if you want to. Okay. I want to bribe. My kids are playing in here, but I'm just going to burn all of this. I added some of my whatever blitz things, and I want to show you these things. Home and Leisure. 60-piece uh, long-reach matches. Each match is 28 centimeters. And then the striker is at the bottom. I didn't open the thing completely. Let me just take one of these bad boys out. Look at this marvelous thing. Okay. So now... Let's light this thing. Ah, one ended. And look, now I can light things with my little handsies far away from everything. This is wonderful. Okay. Ta da! Chucked in a lot of charcoal. Now we're waiting because we're just going to do Vorsch Broikis today, like South African hot dogs. Shop. Okay, I've never tried this type of wors before. It's Dorsland wors, a traditional recipe with top notes of coliander and cloves. And then it's like 55% beef, 24% pork. It comes from checkers and it was quite, well, I can't say cheap. It's like 90 rand a kilogram. But yes, let's give it a try. Okay, so I just rolled it into a coil because that's the way I like to do it. Okay, first flip. And you can see there's flames coming up, but that's not ideal, but it's fine, we'll just turn it quickly. Listen to that. It's like a jet engine. Okay, so we're done. Now, I measure this part from the front of my tongues up to my thumb. That's how big the buns are. Now, that's quite big. So I'm going to cut this into sections like that. So it will fit onto the bun and have your bun to boerewors ratio correct. Okay, so this is what this thing looks like. It's a worst and then I added some sauce. This is my sauce I added. This is that wonderful spur salad dressing, but it's like a, I don't know, magical mayonnaise. Okay, if you made it till the end of this video, you are a champion and you're going to win the lottery. I hope. Okay, all of you stay safe, happy, have a good one. Goodbye.